Let's see what we do. To this next topic, Camila Cabello told Complex magazine that she's tired of hearing her two biggest hits, Havana and Senorita. <laughs> so, Shaggy, I mean, I wonder this a lot about musicians. Like, can, can you relate at all? Do you ever get tired of hearing any of your big, it wasn't me. Do we never get tired of that? But... Yeah. Well, I can say to her, hey, I'll sing them. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that's privilege talk. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's privilege talk right now. It's, 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 um, you know, and you got to give her some credit. She's young, you know. Uh, a, a couple years down the line, you're going to, you're going to be hoping they're playing them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It seems, it seems like, you know, it seems like a tough, like a rather a lucky problem to have. Mm. Most of us, yeah. you know, aren't in your shoes or her shoes. It's like our biggest problem is like, oh my God, I can't believe they asked me to make lasagna again. My thing, <laughs> I'm just so good at making lasagna. It's like, that's our hey. peaking? Yeah. Or my peaking at least? <laughs> yeah. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, it, you shouldn't be worried about that. To, to me, I'm worried about when they stop singing. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. You know what's so funny? Yeah. Just the other day, I, you probably watched the Celine Dion documentary. Oh, Have you guys man, watched yeah. that? Heartbreaking. It's so crazy. We're watching a documentary about a woman who started singing professionally at age 12, and she has a stiff, pin, uh, stiff, stiff, stiff person syndrome. Yeah, syndrome. Stiff person syndrome. Yeah. And you see her saying that she would do anything to be back on stage in front of her fans to sing. And at the same time, you have a woman who's five minutes into her career going, I'm so tired of singing all these songs. <laughs> and you make the point, it's like, you know what? Be very careful because karma has a way of being like, okay, you're tired of singing. Well, you won't have the ability. I think it's just a young person's game. She should be very fortunate. Camilla, I'm being nice about it. Because I mean, we sound there were other we people on, in that girl group she came from who I think were better artists. I don't know, but I'm you sure. know, I I said it. I don't know. Shade dropper. No. <laughs> I saw Prince and countless times in concert, and he often would do, yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, he often would do medleys of his biggest hits, and I couldn't help but wonder if occasionally he was like, if I have to play Let's Go Crazy one more time, I'm gonna go a bit crazy. If there was just, or like, again, that's why you see artists who do twists to the way that they play their, their right. songs, their mm -hmm. biggest hits. I can empathize with that. I don't think it's necessarily coming from a place of like, you know, not being grateful. Grateful? Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, we sound a little old right now. <laughs> Because we're like, all those young people, they're so ungrateful. I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds like my mother, you know? And so I will say, you're right, she's young, whatever. But, you know, isn't youth wasted on the young? Like, this is... <laughs> this is... It really is. She doesn't what know what she doesn't know. She's living her best life. Leave her alone. No way, man. She's going to be just <laughs> fine. She's going to be just Take fine. <laughs> Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.